it's time to talk about energy and alternatives to our current energy sources. First off, it's geothermal energy. Heat from the core of the earth can be used as a source of energy. It's pretty hot down there, guys. By drilling down to sources of heat, water can be pumped through fractures in the rock and then pumped out as steam to turn turbines of generators. The heat contained within the first about 33,000 feet or so of Earth's surface contains nearly 50,000 times more energy than all of the oil and natural gas resources in the world. Geothermal energy is a constant source. It is always there beneath our feet. So we don't have to worry about running out and having to fight over the last little bit of it, you know? Next up, we have energy from the ocean. Negative comments with alternative forms of energy always begin with, oh, it's hard to predict, sun doesn't always shine, wind doesn't always blow. As true as that is, not all renewables suffer from that variability. Ocean energy has the potential to nearly power the earth every single year. In addition, electricity from tidal technologies is cheaper than the equivalent coal technologies. Third on our list, we have nuclear power. As scary as it sounds, guys, it's really not that bad. The element thorium, named after the Norse god of thunder, while used in conjunction with conventional nuclear reactors, creates the thunder fuel for electricity. There's less radiation, no nuclear proliferation, and three times more abundant than uranium. Another very viable energy alternative is compressed natural gas, or CNG, which can be used as an automotive fuel. This is a video of an oil well burning off such natural gas. Pretty cool, huh? CNG offers state tax incentive credits. It is cheaper than gasoline at about 86 cents per gallon equivalent, and is cleaner burning than gasoline with fewer emissions. Earthquake! Although possibly tragic, they are unavoidable, so why not use their powers for good? More than 1,000 magnitude 5.0 earthquakes and above happen every single year. Just one of these earthquakes releases 2.8 times 10 raised to the 12th joules of energy. If just one quarter of all earthquakes above magnitude 5.0 were harnessed every single year, we would obtain approximately 2.0691 times 10 raised to the 18th joules of energy, which is equivalent to this huge number on your screen. That much gas brings you a lot of smog and mass, just bad stuff. That much earthquake energy brings you happy people. In the end, it seems like we never have enough energy. Over the next 50 years, just one of these means of energy production could help increase energy security and make the world a better place.